Hi chickadees, I hope you're well. This video is going to be about one of my Make 9 projects this year and it's making a dress from a clone of another dress. So there are many YouTube videos on how to clone a garment but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how I did it and some of the processes I use. Now I have a sewing table which has a polystyrene top so the way I like to clone garments is line the garment onto paper onto the table as you can see here and then I'm able to put the pins all the way through from the top to the paper underneath and that helps me on seams where I can't use a ruler and a pencil like I'm doing here this is where I am just marking the center line for the sleeve. Hi chickadees, I hope you're well. For the sleeve is going to be based on this center line. So here I am just marking with a pencil the sides and I've pinned the middle of the garment just to give it a bit of stability and you can see here that I've grabbed a pin and I'm just pushing the pin in through the seam line to the paper below and that leaves a perforation which I can then go in and mark with a pencil. Now it might take a bit of finagling and kind of sorting and getting your fingers in there and moving seam allowances out of the way and things because you want everything to be as flat as humanly possible. So that's what I did on the shoulder seam, just flattening out those seam allowances on the inside. And I've turned it over and I'm again using that center line lining the other side up with that center line and doing the same again just pinning it to stabilize it and then using pins to mark the seam lines doing here is I'm just drawing or connecting those perforations that I've made just roughly and getting the basic shape of the pattern piece in place. And I do the same thing with the front and the back. So I fold it in half down the centre front, matching up the side seams, pin it down to about the bust level, and then again using pins and my pencil just go and draw the shape and add in any markings that I need to. On the white dress there is a waist tie and I did mark the position of the waist tie but I decided for the black dress that I didn't want the tie itself but I did use those waist markings to take the pattern in slightly which I will show you a bit later. So 
So I'm just marking on useful things. So obviously which pattern piece it is, um, whether it's got a seam allowance, uh, how many things I need to cut of it, or just cut it on the um, center front. And I found that I had a weird shape to the top bit. So I altered that slightly um, so it would obviously fit better. Here I'm adding a half inch seam allowance. This is the point where I decided to take it in at the waist slightly. So I made sure that the waist measured at least 40 inches to get over my bust and then took off the amounts that I needed. It turned out that I needed to take about an inch off each pattern piece which was four inches overall. And then I did a narrow quarter inch hem on all the ruffles. So here we have all the layers. And then I stitched on some trim around the sleeves and the outer top layer. And that's about it. So I this is the dress I cloned and this is the dress I got. As you can see, it's slightly baggier because it doesn't have that waist tie, but it's very comfortable for summer. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.